long division using the standard algorithm. To use the standard algorithm, we must write our division problem using the bracket, not the division sign. So instead of writing 452 divided by 2 like this, I'm going to write it using a bracket. Remember the big number, the dividend, goes under the bracket. 452 is our dividend. And the little number, the divisor, goes out in front. The answer or quotient will go on top of the bracket. Then we just have to remember the steps for long division. What are the steps? Well, that's where the cheeseburger comes in. Let's remember, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? The steps to long division. We use does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers to help us remember the steps. Does stands for divide. McDonald's stands for multiply. Sell stands for subtract. Cheese stands for check. And burger stands for bring down. These are the steps we use when we do long division. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, and bring down. Let's use does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers to solve a long division problem. We're solving the problem 46 divided by 2. So we're just going to go through those steps. Does means divide. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide. I need to divide 4, that very first digit in our dividend, I need to divide that by the divisor, 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And every time I divide, I write that on top of the bracket because that's where the answer to a division problem goes. So I'll put the 2 right on top like that. Okay, that was the first step, divide. Now I need to multiply. That's what McDonald's stands for, multiply. So what do I multiply? That number I just wrote, that number 2, I'm going to multiply it back times the divisor like this. 2 times 2, and that equals 4. That goes right underneath which sets us up for our next step, which is to subtract. Now I need to subtract. 4 minus 4 equals 0. Notice I haven't done anything with the 6 in 46 yet. We'll get to that soon. Okay, we divided, we multiplied, we subtracted. Cheese stands for check. Now it's time to check. So what are we checking? We want to make sure that that number we're left with after we subtract is smaller than our divisor. Is 0 less than 2? Yes, it is. Then we're ready to move on to the next step. That's just a good place to check to make sure you've divided and multiplied and subtracted correctly. The next step is burgers, which stands for bring down. Here is where I bring down the next digit in my dividend, which is a 6. So I'll bring the 6 down to sit next to the 0. Now I'm going to start over again going through all five steps, but I'm going to use this number. The first step, remember, is to divide. So this time I'm dividing 6 divided by 2. I'll always be dividing by the divisor and multiplying by the divisor. And remember, the divisor is that little number out in front of the bracket. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Every time I divide, I put that on top because that's where the answer to a division problem goes, on top of the bracket. All right, the next step is to multiply. That number that I just wrote down, that number 3, I'm going to multiply it by the divisor. 3 times 2 is 6. Remember, I want to write that underneath because my next step is to subtract. Now I have my numbers lined up and ready to subtract. 6 minus 6 is 0. G's stands for check. I want to check to make sure the number I'm left with after I subtract is smaller than my, div my divisor. Is 0 less than 2? Yes. Then I'm ready to bring down the next number. But I don't have an x number. There's nothing left to bring down in this problem. 
So we are finished. If we had a three digit dividend with another digit next to the six, we would have to keep going, but we don't, so we're done. And up on top, we will find our answer. Let's use multiplication to check our answer. So division is just the opposite of multiplication. If I take my answer, 23, and I multiply it times my divisor, two, I should get my dividend, which was 46. If I do, then I know I have the correct answer. Let's see. Two times three is six, and two times two is four. Good, I got my dividend. That means 23 was the correct answer to that division problem. Let's try solving some more problems. Don't forget, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? This time, I'm dividing 87 divided by five. Let's start going through the steps. Divide. I need to divide eight by five. Now, five doesn't go into eight evenly. I just have to think, if I have eight of something, how many groups of five could I make? Only one. I know there's a remainder, but I don't have to worry about that right now. That remainder will work itself in later. Let's just keep going through the steps. Now I need to multiply the number that I just wrote, one times the divisor, five. One times five is five. And remember that goes underneath because the next step is to subtract. Now I have my numbers lined up and ready to subtract. Eight minus five is three. We've just been ignoring the seven so far. We'll get to the seven soon. Check, is three less than five? Yes, then bring down the next number. Here's where the seven comes into play. We will bring it down to sit right next to the three that was left when we subtracted. This creates a new number, 37. Now we're gonna start over using the number 37. So we'll start back at divide. Let's divide 37 divided by five. Once again, that doesn't work evenly, but it's okay. We don't have to worry about remainders yet. Just think, if you have 37 of something, how many groups of five can you make? I like to think about multiples of five to help. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, oh, that's too much. 35. It took counting by fives seven times to get that high. If I have 37, I can make seven groups of five. Now I multiply. Seven times five is 35. Subtract. 37 minus 35 is two. Check. Is two less than five? Yes. And bring down. But there's nothing left to bring down. So we are finished. Notice here, I do have a number left at the bottom, too. That is the remainder. That needs to go up with my answer. So my answer is 17 remainder 2. Let's use multiplication to check that answer. 5 times 7 is 35. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. And then if you have a remainder like we did, you have to add that to it. 85 plus 2 is 87, which was our dividend. So our answer of 17 remainder 2 is correct. Let's try a problem with a three-digit dividend this time. We're going to do the same thing. We're just going to have to go through the steps one extra time. You'll see. For now, I'm just focusing on the seven under the bracket. I'm gonna start by dividing seven divided by six. If I have seven, I can only make one group of six. That goes on top. And then I multiply that number that I just wrote, the number one, times my divisor of six. One times six is six. Subtract. Seven minus six is one. Check. Is one less than six? Yes. Bring down. Let's bring down the nine to sit right next to the one. All right, now I'm starting over with this number, 19, that I created at the bottom. Starting over with divide. 19 divided by six. Let's see, six, 12, 18. I can make three groups of six. 
multiply. 3 times 6 is 18. Subtract. 19 minus 18 is 1. Check. Is 1 less than 6? Yes. Bring down the next number. Now this time I do have another digit to bring down. And I have to start over using this number, 12, that I created at the bottom. I'm going to have to go through the steps again because I had an extra digit in my dividend. So let's start over with 12. 12 divided by 6 is 2. That one did work evenly. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 minus 12 is 0. Check. Is 0 less than 6? Yes. Bring down, nothing left to bring down, so we are finally finished. And it looks like we do not have a remainder this time because we ended up with zero at the bottom. So our answer is 132. Let's use multiplication to check out our answer. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. 6 times 1 is 6 plus one is seven, and that was our dividend, 792. So we know our answer, 132, is correct. Here are some reminders. Remember the steps. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers will help you remember that the steps are divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. Keep going through the steps until you have nothing left to bring down.